All right, guys, we're going to go over day one of the Muscle Up program, week one, day one. Um, how it's going to work is we're going to have some strength supersets, okay? So you're going to work through uh, A1 and A2 first, and then B1 and B2 second, okay? Um, so it's gonna, you're going to go a set of A1 and then a set of A2, and then A1 and then A2, and then A1 and then A2. So that's your three sets that you're going to knock out, and then you got your three sets of B1 and B2, okay? Just so we're on the same page there. Um, the first movement that we're going to do is a strict pull-up. We're going to do our strict pull-up at a tempo of two seconds down, zero seconds at the bottom, one second at the top, zero seconds on... It's a little bit confusing. Basically, what I want you guys to do is lower down for two seconds, okay? Um, if you know how tempo works and you can read it, great. Um, I'll go over it in the intro video that maybe you've already watched at this point. Um, but basically, what we're looking for on these three pull-ups is a one-second pause, just a quick pause at the top, just to show you've got control up there, and then a two-second lower down to the bottom, okay? I did this pull-up scheme all the time. Um, when I was working on my strict pull-ups, and I used a band for every single set that I did. So there's no uh, ego here, no pride. Um, break a band out. I'd highly recommend it for these pull-ups, a blue, a red, even a green or a black, so that you can get these reps done. Eight to ten of the strict pull-ups for three total sets, going one second at the top, two second down, okay? We're going to go 60 second rest after a set of pull-ups and then go into some single arm dumbbell bench press, okay? So um, you'll get the, the movement demo video after this. It'll be easy to see what we're looking for. But with the single arm dumbbell bench press, we're looking at the exact same tempo as before, okay? We're going to go uh, a one second pause when we reach the top and then a two second lower down to the bottom um, and just moving through both of our other positions with zero seconds, so straight into them, okay? So a two second lower. Um, on the single arm dumbbell bench press. We're gonna go eight to 10 reps per arm for three sets. Then we're gonna rest for 60 seconds. Okay, and as a reminder, after you rest for 60 seconds here, you don't go here, you go back to the A1 and you're gonna do all of your A's before you start the B's, okay? So strict pull-ups and single arm dumbbell bench press with a little bit of a tempo there, eight to 10 reps on the pull-ups, eight to 10 reps per arm on the bench press. Okay, then for our B's, we've got a dumbbell tripod row. We're gonna go three seconds down, one second at the top, that's all you really got to worry about there. So dumbbell tripod row, three seconds down, one second at the top, eight to 10 reps per arm for three sets, 60 second rest. Okay, you see a theme here. This, it's a very common uh, three sets, 60 second rest in between. We're going to go seated Arnold press, three seconds down, one second at the top, one second at the bottom as well. Okay, so just a, a little bit of a different thing there from the, the tripod row, three seconds down, one second at the top, one second at the bottom, and you can explode up. Okay, eight to 10 reps per arm three sets, 60 second rest, okay? Not a lot of thinking you've gotta do about the rest and the sets and the reps and all that thing, uh, all those things, okay? So pull up, dumbbell bench press, tripod row, seated Arnold press are your four movements for the day. We're actually gonna be our four movements for the next four weeks of this cycle and we're gonna play around with the number of sets and the amount of rest that we're doing, okay? So what I want you to do is track the weight that you do uh, today on week one, and you're gonna either keep that weight the same or increase it ever so slightly, not a lot, maybe a little bit over the course of these next four weeks where we're using these movements to build our strength, okay? Um, also, rest and tempo is crucial um, to make this, making this workout effective uh, and do what it's supposed to do. So do not sacrifice you know, the tempo for doing more weight, if you feel like you can't hold that tempo for eight to 10 reps uh, for three sets, then drop the weight and get it to a weight where you can hold that tempo. If you feel like it's not a lot and it's not too hard and you're like, I don't need 60 seconds of rest, I'll just go before that. Or if you feel like it's really hard and you need to wait a little bit longer, don't, okay? 60 seconds on the dot of rest. If you feel like it's too hard, maybe drop the weight a little bit so that you feel like you can go again in 60 seconds. But otherwise, if it's, if it's easy for you, that's good. It's not supposed to be super hard on week one, day one, right? We're gonna eventually drop this rest all the way down to 30 seconds, and then I promise you it will be hard uh, keeping the same weight as we were and holding that same tempo, okay? So bear with me, 60 second rest, stick to it, all right? That's day one, guys.